Hi, friends. Uh, I got some mail. Well, I mean, this isn't mail. You can clearly see. But I got a package. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain over there. <laughs> Who knows that I'm going to. Uh, anyway. Making sure that we have nothing with my address showing. I got two things. So I got an email and I was like, how come no one's talking about this? But then they were and I had just missed it. Um, what did I get? So this, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's pretty impractical. But... Oh, I like this little container. Um, this is stuck. Blurry. A music nib. Height of practicality for everything I do. I just have, like wanted one. <laughs> so, you know, we got one. And maybe you saw the label on there. Label branding. And this is from Piper Trading Company. Um, I kind of dig this packaging. I also kind of hate it because plastic is the devil. But maybe it's that kind of plastic that you could eat if you wanted to. So, Piper Trading Co. and a pin sleeve that's made out of some kind of like duck. I know he's confused too. And here's the pen. This is a periwinkle color. I'll agree with that. Um, honestly, I just wanted to check it out. You know, new ish company, sort of. Because I think it's like a pet project from um, Franklin Kristoff. Apparently I got this with a medium nib. Who knows? I'll take their word for it that that's what I ordered. Um, I like it. It's simple. The cat, the cat posts really well. Uh, I, I kind of dug how it was, like, I don't know if you're going to see the difference in color. And I actually suspect that's just because these are the areas where it's thinner and it's allowed to be thicker where it's darker. Um, but I got ink to check it. Oh, but I didn't get water. Let's fix that. Okay. Um candle right next to me and it feels surprisingly warm. <laughs> it's not a cold day so that doesn't help. Anyway, I without looking at the pen first grabbed from Cali which isn't going to be quite right because this is warm. That's cool. Let's see if there's something I like better but my inclination is just to go with it because it's here. And sometimes that's the best thing. That's the best quality any can have is to be present. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. This would be a better choice, but I just used it. Not putting a shimmer. Fox glove wouldn't be too, too poor a choice. Yeah, I'm just gonna do from Cali because it's here and it's not awful. I don't think. Time will tell. Always, I know. Some people don't always clean their pen first, but why not? 
if I remember. It's not like I'm arduously cleaning it, I'm just putting water in. I obviously got the California ink because it's from California. I don't know, I don't remember where I put this sticker, but it's not on the ink, which is I think where it's supposed to go. <laughs> so you can see it from the top. I was sort of assuming I wouldn't be able to fill from here. Oh, but I might be able to, I'll try. Oh, it worked. I'm as surprised as you are. Look at that. Paper towel chromatography. The blue is not from this. And I also brought a different uh, Franklin Kristoff to put that nib in and we'll do a dip test with it. So let's, let's go back here. Look at all these notes. New pin day. Come over here. We have New pin day. Where is it? This is the Piper Second Empire. I didn't actually love the name of this pen because I don't know, empires are generally problematic. Usually rise to power by subjugating people, but that's reading an awful lot into the name of a fountain pen. <laughs> so, yeah, color verse from Cali, little heart there. Seems to write pretty well in all directions. Yeah. I dig it. Not a great match, pen and ink. Um, but we'll look at it. We'll compare it to some a pen. I have a pen. No, I have two pens here that we can compare it to size-wise. But close-up look. It's got engraved here in the... I don't know if you call it a finial, if it's not separate. The name of the company, it's super flat across the top and bottom, which I dig. I mean, yeah, because I'm basic. And then it's got a little groove here, a little groove there. If you look at it, the cap bands are down here, which if I hold my pen on my fourth finger, which I'm prone to do, because that's where my bump is. I think my, my middle finger rests on those, but it doesn't hurt me. And I can feel this step up here, but not a lot. Does it post the way that some people do it? It does, I'm not gonna force it on there though. Um, I will hold it here. It does not post on my other fingers very comfortably. This is all right though. Um, so that's the pen. If we want to compare it, because I mean, we must. Here it is next to a Hobonichi Weeks. Oh, look, I already. Great. You know what? that out. Yeah, there we go. They're uncapped in a Hobonichi week. 
give you an idea. And a Franklin Christoph model 46. If these are different, it's by a, a millimeter, half less than a millimeter. A Twisby Eco T. Take it off of here. Um, and used cotton swab slash bud. If we look uncapped, these are basically identical. The one big difference is the threads. So the Franklin Kristoff has these pretty chunky threads here. This has the more standard threads that you see on a lot of sm small maker pins. But yeah, if you want to look at these close up for size, more or less identical. The caps, just the caps. Hope that helps. You can't do this though because this, the threads are different. Well, I mean, you can, but it won't screw on. Now, uh, let's do this. Check out our new nib. This, by the way, is a Model 46, like the old one, because I guess they've taken it away. So presumably at some point there will be a new one. I hope they just give it a different number. And come over here, just dip it in some water. Not inking this up. And I don't know, I think these use Yovo housings. So this is a Kristoff nib and the design is different on the Things. Anyway, so I'm going to see what pins this will fit into. And hopefully it's not a, a bad idea that I got it. But, you know, sometimes you want to experiment and that's how you learn is through experimentation. So... Christoph Music. Yeah, that's dope. It's in many ways, it's everything I dislike in a nib. <laughs> you have to be really mindful of how you're holding it and so on. But Yeah, I dig uh, the line variation and who knows, maybe I'll have to start writing music 
you know? Isn't that, don't you wanna, there we go. Every good boy deserves fudge. Or no, fries, yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, Maria, why don't you stop now? Okay, thanks. I'm just putting this in water now. I'm curious, if you're watching this, have you ever used a music nib? And if so, do you have a special use for it? Do you use it just, like, for whatever? I, I can't imagine using this to take notes for anything I want to write quickly because it doesn't strike me as a particularly quick writing thing uh, because I would have to pay more attention to how I'm holding my pen. I think that's in general why I like a more round nib because I write quickly. Um, but this was our this was our little video, our little purchase from Piper Trading. Got, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We got this. But I, gosh, I really love this. Maybe I just buy a few more to keep my nibs in. Although I don't have very many, quite frankly. I don't, uh, play nib musical chairs very much at any rate here we are did you get anything from the from piper trading um do you have a music nib are you disappointed that i put from cali in here even though it's not a very good match <laughs> let me know and I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.